right guys what's going on coach alfred here and today in this heat we're gonna work on the volley now just so you know it's 105 degrees out here right now it's so hot i tried to film this and the camera overheated so i have the camera over in the shade i'm in the sun why because it's that important to learn how to volley well so here we go all right so first things first step number one we have to make sure we get the grip right so what is the grip for a volley well the well the one that we're going with this is the standard grip especially to start out with we're going to go with the continental grip okay so an easy way to figure that out is you take your racket in your left hand if you're right-handed you're going to pinch the upper edge of it okay like 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 claws here, you pinch the upper edge and you drag it on down to the bottom. This is called the continental grip, also known as the hammer grip because it's kind of like you're hammering. Okay, there's another way to figure this out too. Um, it, if you take this top bevel, if you put the racket in your belly button and then you look at that top bevel, that's one. If you look at the slanted bevel to the right side, so this would be one, this slanted bevel right here would be two. What you'll do for the continental grip is you'll take your, your pointer finger, your pointer pad right here, all the way down to your heel pad, you could draw a line like this. If you take your pointer pad and put it right on that second bevel, also your heel pad on that second bevel, that'll also give you the continental grip. I just think it's much easier to pinch the racket and come on down, but this is your volley grip. Okay, now that's step one, we have the grip. What's step two? Very easy, the ready position. The ready position is nice wide base right here, okay? Nice wide base. You're gonna have the racket out in front of your body not here not here and not here what you're gonna have is a nice straighter arm and the racket head up and the butt down okay wide stance racket head up right here now once we have this left hand typically on the throat once we have this we are ready to go watch this the volley is an easy stroke and the problem we have with these volleys is we try to overcomplicate them, okay? We up at the net, boy, we're just ready to get that ball, and, and then it's like, ah, you're, we're just crazyville, okay? The volley is simple, and that's what makes it so hard sometimes. So here's the way to hit a good volley. You're ready, you're here. You see the ball coming to your forehand. Watch, so simple. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna lay that wrist back and the shoulders will slightly slant this way. You are not going sideways like a forehand. You're just opening up the racket, laying that wrist back right here, slanted shoulders, racket is still up. Watch this, eye level, and all you're gonna do is left foot, step to the left foot. it that's easy right okay so look look you're here left hand is on you see the ball coming this is what you're gonna do you're gonna lay that wrist back shoulders are facing here and you're gonna step and block the ball it's such a small stroke watch this side view okay side view you're here straighter arm 90 degree angle right here very important if you get bent, it takes away your stability. 90 degree angle, you see the ball coming, you lay back the wrist, your shoulders slightly turn, and then you step into the shot. People get in so much trouble. I watch it all the time, middle school level, high school level, and even sometimes further. People get in trouble because they try and bring the racket way back here and then do a really big swing. That almost never works out well. And I know you know why. Because when you're at the net, you're closer to the person hitting the ball. 
And a lot of times when they see you at the net, this is what's gonna happen. They're gonna haul off and they're gonna smack that ball. And the ball's gonna come so fast that if you pull the racket back here, that ball's gonna knock you right in the face before you even have a chance to actually hit it, okay? So the best volleyers in the world, they keep it simple. They keep it small. Let's go over that one more time. You pinch, you drag down. You get that racket out in front of you. 90 degree angle right here, straighter arm. When that ball comes, you lay that racket back like this, shoulders slightly turn, and then you step into it. You don't go past, you don't bring it back. Okay, so a little bit faster. Split, lay back, connect. That's it, three e easy steps right here. Split, lay back, and step. Now, notice the left hand. A lot of people do a lot of different things with their left hand, but probably the best move you could make is when you're on that racket right here, you split, you open, you lay back, and the left hand comes to it, huh. right here, okay? That's a really good thing to do. Now, the great tragedy of a lot of volleyers is that instead of keeping this racket up about eye level, I see it all the time. They get a low ball and they do this. So, so they're at the net, someone hits a ball and they do this. Now, you can already see the problem. What happens if I hit the ball like this? Well, the ball goes whoo, nice and high like this. There's a game we play on our, uh, on our high school team and it's called High You Die because if you hit that ball high and a person's at the net, that ball's coming up right here and now you're a sitting duck, they're gonna go and the point's over, okay? So we want to avoid at all times. I mean, like the cardinal sin of volleying is to fluff that ball up like this. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, coach, what happens if they hit a low ball? I'm so glad you asked that question. This is what happens, watch this. You split, you lay back. Oh no, the ball's going low, but I know that I have to keep this right here. This is where the legs come in, watch this. The ball's low, you get low, and you hit that ball right here. I was watching Medvedev over at Cincinnati just this past weekend, and he's a, he's a very tall guy. This guy was getting way down here, hitting beautiful volleys. So, don't do this, okay? Those legs are so important in the whole game of tennis, even volleys. Okay, so one more time, just for posterity. We have our grip, we're pulling it down. We're in the ready position. 90 degrees out in front. We're never down like this because it takes too long to come up. We're here, left hand is locked in right here. We see it, we split, we do what? Ah, we lay that wrist back, slight shoulder turn, and we uh, meet the ball where it is. And then we reset. Easy breezy, right? Okay, so that's the forehand volley. The good news is, is that now that we're transferring over to the backhand volley, there's not much difference. There's just one little subtle difference, and I know you're gonna pick that up so quickly. So, absolutely no change. You're here, same grip. You're ready, left hand's on it. If you see that ball come to the backhand, watch this. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna open that face. You're gonna slightly open those shoulders. Does that sound familiar? And instead of stepping on the left foot, you're gonna step on the right foot and meet the ball. That's it, it's easy, okay? Now, some of you might have noticed, ah, but I see that left hand doing something different, and you would be so correct. Whereas the forehand, we tend to come in right here. On the backhand, it's gonna be the opposite. Probably the best option here is you go here, 
you open, the strings are facing the net, the racket is above the handle, the head is even with my eyeballs. And notice from here, because I'm still kind of holding on here, what I'm gonna do is step and break back. So the left hand goes away from the racket on the backhand side. On the forehand, it tends to go to it, but on the backhand side, it goes away from it. Now, last thing, okay? What are the key components? Well, the key components are you have to be in this good ready position no matter what. This 90 degree angle is key. If we start volleying like this, what happens is it sucks our stability out. How so? Well, because a bent arm has less power, like it's so easy to push that racket back and the ball's coming in hard and it's gonna hit it and, and it's gonna push the arm like this or like this, which is gonna be a problem if you're trying to be stable and strong at the net. If you keep that arm in a 90 degree angle like this, it's a lot stronger. It's harder to push because it's solid all the way through, okay? So, so keep this right here. Also, last thing is that the other detriment that I see rather than just this is that in the middle school level and the high school level, uh, what actually tends to happen is we, we don't realize how big our backswings are. So a lot of players, they wanna be good volleyers, but they're just not. And the reason's not huge, it's simply that they're doing this and the racket is so far back their ref uh, everything's just too slow here. Everything's too fast there. The ball is coming in too fast. And so they struggle. The best volleyers on the planet, they keep it simple. It's here, I just switched to left-handed because I am left-handed. They go here, they keep the racket in front of their body, 90 degree angle, and they just meet the ball. Here, they're here, and they meet the ball. If you keep it simple, volleying will be simple. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, any concerns, leave a comment, ask it, and I'll try to answer it. Other than that, I hope this helps, and I'll see you on court, hopefully when it's not 105 degrees. Thanks.